Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another movie review on Star Wars Episode 9, Rise of Skywalker. I'm doing this video all in one take and I am making the bold move of not even having any notes or anything. I saw this movie last night at the first showing and sorry about the audio. I have this new mic and it's weird how it gets really loud at the beginning and then it kind of softens up. So forgive me. I'm trying over here trying to get the new tech to work. But anyway, I had gotten offered from Disney to see a press screening earlier this week, actually on Tuesday. The lovely Charlie one and I were talking about making the drive down to LA. I'm tired of making that drive down to LA. And plus, on top of that, uh, it's a very family thing for us to see Star Wars with me, my brother, and my dad. Uh, I, we saw the original Star Wars movies that were redone, so not the original, but the special edition uh, episodes 4 through 6. Uh, we'd seen those in the theater at the Coronet Theater in San Francisco, which no longer exists, and we'd wait out outside in a long line and everything, seeing an opening night for showing and all that. So we did the same thing this time, except you know they have assigned seating. So um, yeah, I watched the movie with my brother and my dad. We saw it in 3D, XD, and I gotta say, the effects and the sound and everything was great. I really liked the 3D in this movie. Uh, it wasn't really too hardcore, and I'm not going to get into spoilers until I give you a spoiler warning, by the way, okay? So just be warned, non-spoilers uh, non first, and then I'm going to get into spoilers. So, um, yeah, and then another thing is, uh, so, yeah, we saw it in XD, 3D. The 3D was good, wasn't overbearing. I thought it looked, it, it complemented the movie very well. And just want to show off, this is the stuff that they had. I got an R2-D2 cup right there. And then this is the popcorn, which I thought was kind of neat. It had a nice image of R2-D2 and a nice image of C-3PO right there. So I wanted to, you know, just show that off because I got the merch right there. Plus it allows me to write it off for the taxes, okay? So, uh, non-spoilers, all right? I'm just going to say this. When I walked out of the movie, I was happy. I'm just going to say that. I'm not spoiling anything. I was happy with the movie. Well, there's some things that I... Uh, I was mostly happy with the movie. There was definitely uh, a damage control element to the movie, which is something I was really hoping for because I really did not like The Last Jedi. I rewatched The Last Jedi uh, the night before watching Rise of Skywalker, and you know, there are some things in Rise of uh, or in Last Jedi that actually I liked. You know, there, there's some. Rewatching it again, there are more things in it that I like that I had forgotten about, so that was kind of cool. But overall, I mean, just there's so many things that are just I felt were horrible about the Last Jedi. It was refreshing to get uh, some molding and kind of uh, you know a little damage control, you know. So I thought the movie did really good with that. I believe this movie was two hours and forty five minutes long. So make sure you give yourself a good healthy piss before you get in there. And uh, I thought it, it could have been even longer for me. I, I thought the length of the movie was actually pretty good. But I thought it needed to be a long mo movie. I And after watching it, I, I almost think... I don't think I'm spoiling anything by saying this. But when we show our daughters Star Wars in the future... I think we will be able to go through the Star Wars saga just completely leaving out The Last Jedi completely and be fine. Like, I really think that's going to be a possibility, which I'm kind of happy about. So, I think you can just leave out Episode 8 completely and just, you know, just go through. This one, um, it, 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 it ranked pretty high compared to some of the other Star Wars movies that I've seen. If you want to know my ranking, again, I'm putting this... So, for me, it's it's the original Star Wars movies are at the top. And then, Revenge of the Sith. This movie, I put somewhere around Revenge of the Sith. Maybe above, maybe below. I haven't totally figured it out yet. I've only seen the movie once, but in that area. Uh, at the very bottom is The Last Jedi. Right above that is Attack of the Clones, then Phantom Menace, and then Revenge of the Sith, and then the original Star Wars movie. So... That's my personal ranking, just to give you an idea of where this lands for me. Um, I, I don't want to get into spoilers yet. So I think the movie, I think more people are going to enjoy it 
than they originally thought. I think you'll be surprised. Uh, there's new stuff. Go there's stuff going on with the with the older characters that I really liked. There's mm -hmm. I, I like I like the way Princess Leia was handled. Um, I liked how the new characters were handled. Um, nothing. I didn't feel like there were any new characters that were really shoehorned into this movie that kind of made me cringe. I was kind of worried about that with the Dio droid. I was like, oh, great. Yeah, another cute droid. Kind of, you know, and then here we go. But no, it, I didn't get that feeling at all with anything. Same thing with the Sith troopers. That was one I was like, oh, probably they're going to do something stupid. But no, I didn't think what they had done was stupid at all. There were some things that I did not like that were in this movie. But I left happy. My dad left happy. My brother surprisingly left happy. All three of us left happy. All three of us were severely bummed out when we left The Last Jedi. So the three of us liked The Rise of Skywalker. That's all I really want to say. I think that's all I would like to know if I was watching a non-spoiler review is, hey, did the guy like it or not? You know, and that's all I'm telling you is that, hey, I liked it, all right? Now, let's get on to the spoiler section. Again, I don't have notes. I'm not going to I'm not going to go through the plot of the movie. I'm not going to talk about every single thing. I'm just going to talk about the big things that I liked and the things that I didn't like. Okay, so spoilers. We are going. 3, 2, 1. Okay, so spoilers. I really liked Kylo Ren getting the lightsaber. <laughs> Having it, that was my favorite scene of the whole movie. That's that was just like my favorite part. My brother, my dad, and I were talking about what were your favorite parts of the movie, and I geeked out the hardest over that. I loved that. I liked Kylo Ren throughout this whole thing. That's actually have he has been my favorite character throughout this episode seven through nine, and to see his arc finally come around all the way through. I thought was great. I loved the scene where we see, again, spoilers, we see Harrison Ford again. Ah! I was like, what? And the way they played that out was so beautifully done because it's it's a memory. You know what I mean? He's not actually there again. It's a memory. And I've seen it done in not just, you know, action fantasy movies, but in all types of movies, they have this whole thing where someone's kind of seeing an apparition from a memory right in front of them. And they're talking to them and stuff. And in the way they did this was they actually even had Harrison Ford, Harrison Ford say almost all the same lines. And he did all the same gestures touching him on the, on the face and all that. And Nick explains like, yeah, you're just a memory of him. He's like, yeah. but and, and that was just so well done. And then seeing him chuck the lightsaber was so awesome. And I'm glad he didn't do this either. Like he gave it a good old chuck. He tossed that thing. And seeing later on, Kylo Ren and Rey team up finally. I thought that was great. I The whole thing with the Emperor, the whole thing about Rey being a Palpatine and everything, I thought was great. I, 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 good. And I thought that they had explained some of the things that we needed to have explained in Episode 8 that we didn't get explained. Like, for instance, in that, and it's not a true explanation, but for me it works. Like, the whole thing with... Palpatine kind of secretly working on this whole uh, armada of starship destroyers with Death Star capabilities on them kind of explains how the First Order has been able to, you know, come up with so much stuff. You know what I mean? It doesn't really explain it, but to me, in my mind, it's like, oh, that's how, because Palpatine's been doing this all along. You see all that, that huge jar of Snoke clones? I thought that was really cool. I like how they handled that. Um... My my dad's favorite part, uh, he said he part that he thought was badass was when when Ray grabs the second lightsaber against Palpatine and she's and she's holding it down and shooting that electric blast right back at him. Uh, my Brit, my brother's favorite part was the guy who works on C three PO who does the mind wipe thing. The, ha -da! The, ha -da! He's like he's like dude, that made me feel like I was watching a Star Wars movie. That really felt like Star Wars to me. I was like, oh, that's cool. I, I'm glad. I, me too. I, I thought that fit in perfectly with Star Wars. Uh, but yeah, the whole plot I thought was fine. It did feel like there was like a first half of the movie where they were focusing on the damage control. I like how they handled that whole Holdo suicide mission thing. Like, that was a one in a million shot. They distinctly show some a ship go into warp drive right past a monster and it doesn't go through the monster. I like how they showed that. 
Um, that whole little clip with Luke and, and when Ray throws a lightsaber and Luke catches it in the fire, he's like, hey, such a sacred weapon deserves more respect. I was like, yes, yes. And then see Luke Skywalker in his hollow form, in his, in his uh, astral form or whatever, his ghost form. I thought that was awesome. Seeing the three original cast members in the movie, I thought was great. I love that there was a lot of Princess Leia in this movie. I thought that was awesome. I was so pleased with that. I thought they, uh, maybe they got like 10, 15 minutes worth of footage and then she's gone. No, she's in the movie all the way through. I was like, ah, oh, yes, this works. And it didn't feel like it was weird. I thought it was well written and everything. I liked it. I, I thought it was really good. Um, the, uh... Let me. I, I want to make sure I cover everything again. I loved Kylo Ren. I thought Ray was dope. I thought it was funny. I called that she was gonna be Ray Skywalker. Didn't happen the way I thought it was gonna happen. But hey, I called it. She's gonna be Ray Skywalker, and hey, it happened, right? So there you go. Um, I thought that in the roundabout way of them doing that and everything was awesome. I love that she has her own lightsaber now. I thought that was cool. I love that Princess Leia had her own lightsaber. I was like, ooh, new lightsabers and female lightsabers too. That makes me really happy. So yeah, yeah my little girls can have their own lightsabers. Well, they already kind of do. I've been lightsaber dueling with Lord Emmatron. It's been quite fun. She loves it. But uh, that's all the really, I loved all the action. I love the world building. It was really fast paced. They're really, it, it did feel like they're trying to cram a lot into this. And that's why I think I felt like it could have been even longer, but I thought they did a really good job. It, it was kind of, it had like a days of future past kind of vibe for me. You know what I mean? You remember the Fox X-Men days of future past. It's like, okay, they fixed a lot of stuff and they gave us some good new. And that's how I felt with this one. Ah, they fixed a whole bunch of stuff and they gave us good new. So that's like how the movie made me feel if I were to give another movie that really made me feel like or com compare those feelings with, it was X-Men Days of Future Past. Um, now, the things I didn't like um, is actually really just the one thing. Well, my brother was super frustrated with Ray being freaking overpowered. I mean, uh, yeah, she's hovering up in the air and she's got a double helix thing going on around her and all this stuff. To me... I was okay with that, knowing that now that she's a Palpatine, so that the Force runs through her so strongly that it made sense to me anyway. That explanation worked okay for me. It didn't work okay for him, but that's okay. The thing that really bothered me, and I love the kiss between Kylo and, and Rey, that was awesome. That whole scene, it felt organic. All of it, they're so well connected, but he, he ends up dying at the end. I was like, oh, man. Why wow, we finally got him to come all the way around and then he goes at the end. It's kind of like his dad, I guess. That's what they're trying to do. I guess they're trying to make it poetic like that. But that that was super frustrating. So I was like, ah, damn it. I wish, you know, we got to see him move on and carry on and everything and live a life with Ray. But nope. And he's really gone, gone. You know, when anyone with, the, you know, a Jedi or Sith, you know, disappears and they're really, really gone forever. So it's like, ah, damn it. Or he may come back later on as, you know, in his astral form. Um, and that was the biggest bummer. But I love the whole arc with Kylo Ren. I like that character even more now. Um, the whole thing with Hux, I like that. The, the new guy taking over, I thought that was great. The new character, like, I really liked the movie a lot. I gave it an 8 out of 10. I don't think it could have been much better than it was. I don't think, especially with, you know, with the bastard, with, you know, the bastardization of Star Wars and, you know, episode 8. This is, I think, the best that they could have done with. I wish J.J. Abrams never left Star Wars in the first place. I wish he just stuck around. But I think he just got overwhelmed and he got all weird about it and didn't want to take it. And then they gave it to Ryan Johnston and then he screwed it up. And they're like, okay, now you really have to fix it. And I wish he just stuck with it the whole time. I think we would have had a much better Skywalker saga. I don't know where it's going to go from here. I don't know. But this movie, I am very much looking forward to it. Uh, seeing it again. I, I look forward to seeing it again. I really liked it a lot. Out of Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker, Rise of Skywalker was my favorite. I really think so. And, and I could feel the, the audience cheered a lot during this movie. The audience cheered in this movie more than I think I've ever heard an audience cheer since Force Awakens. But I think they cheered even more in this one than they did in Force Awakens. So 
I like this more than Force Awakens. I, I thought Force Awakens was good. I liked it, but then it didn't give us enough meat. You know what I mean? Like there, there wasn't a whole lot of plot moving things forward. This one made up for what the last two movies didn't give us, and they moved a lot of things forward. So it was super satisfying. I want to know what you guys think. I liked it a lot. I may even give it a 9 out of 10, but I'm saying 8 out of 10 right now. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Please go ahead and do so. I will have a Marvel Legends action figure review coming up later today, so stay tuned for that. It will be two figures in one video. I'm sure you can guess which characters they're going to be, huh? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.